नमस्ते गुरुकुलियंस होप ऑल ऑफ यूर हेल्दी फिट एंड फाइन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल द गुरुकुल नीलोखेड़ी एंड टुडे आई संजीव शर्मा वेलकम बैक ऑल ऑफ यू एंड टुडे आई विल टीच यू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ योर चैप्टर नंबर फोर रेड ट्रैप रिटर्न बाय सेलमा लेचर लॉफ सो प्लीज कैरी दिस बुक इन योर हैंड फ्लैमिंगो एंड चैप्टर नंबर फोर द थर्ड पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इट क्लियर so please open page number 33 this is the story red trap by selma long right in my previous video boys i have depicted about the story of the red trap he was a peddler red trap seller clear red trap i told you rat plus trap in order to catch in order to capture a mouse capture a rat we are having a device right that is called red trap clear so there was a peddler who used to move who used to plod here and there from one place to another in order to sell his product red traps which he used to make with some iron wires and some other things but his business was going in vain why because nobody purchased his rat traps so one day while roaming he went to a place which was completely unknown to him it was the winter time it was the month of december right so what happened after going to there this was completely isolated place okay so page number 33 and a paragraph number 3 right one dark evening it was the month of december and it was a dark evening students he was trudging along the road he caught sight the of a little grey cottage by the road side trudging t r u d g i n g moving slow slowly with just that that's all moving slowly suppose whenever if you are having a just a depression in your mind some botheration if you have so you just with heavy foot feet you can say the way paon se you are silently moving up uh, forward very slowly slowly so that is called trudging so he was trudging along the road which was completely unknown to him he didn't know where to go where not to go not even a single house was to be seen over there then on the road side stand on the road side suddenly he saw a gray colored cottage there was a single hut meant single cottage was there and it was the evening okay and he was having a fear in his mind he how to and where to spend the night because he needed the shelter for a single night right so this was the grey cottage where he was expecting to have a shelter for a night and he knocked on the door he got happy he went on the door and started knocking on it clear when he knocked on the door and he was going to ask he was going to seek permission to spend a night he wanted to have a shelter for a single night okay nor he was refused means the person who came outside he was very polite kind and humble he was not refused by that man instead of sore faces sore faces means the strange people okay sore faces means the strange people of the world okay sore people are sore faces are those clear he was fed up to see their faces right he was uh, just uh, looking their facial expression some of them were very aggressive some of them were indulging in greed clear no one no one nobody was kind to him okay and he was fed up so here it's a symbolical word sore faces sore faces means the strange kind of faces of the people okay he didn't want to see their faces 
daily he was interacting hundreds of people with sore faces clear so in place of sore faces this man was not like that okay which originally met him means originally he was meeting the sore faces he was meeting the strange people daily in his life but the owner owner of the hut meant where he had come he was an old man he was an old man means the owner of the hut meant where he he wanted to spend a shelter for a single night there was an old man and uh, without wife or child he didn't have family he was he he did not have um, wife or nor children means this has not been conveyed ki whether he got married or later he lost his wife nothing has been explained simply it has been shown he didn't have wife he didn't have any children no family he lived there alone simply alone and lonely life he was living over there clear the owner of hut meant when he came outside and here the peddler was standing the peddler he was about to ask he was he wanted to seek permission to get entered inside for having a shelter for a single night clear so was happy to get someone the owner of the hut meant the old man he got happy he got delighted why he was happy why he was delighted because he get someone to talk after a long long period boys please underline this thing it's very important thing that for a long lasting period maybe for 2 years 3 years 5 years 10 years 15 years it has not been mentioned but it is sure ki that for a long lasting period for years after years he had never seen any person who came to his home at least at least now a person who has come to meet him he got happy he gave his smiling to see the peddler right at least somebody has come to meet me it is just like that okay and he to talk in his loneliness loneliness means his alone life his isolated life somebody has come somebody has entered immediately he put the porridge means he welcomed him when he entered inside he put the porridge porridge means daliya p o r r i d g e it's a liquid diet liquid diet in hindi in hindi daliya what do you call it right he boiled porridge liquid diet daliya clear he put a pitcher a pot okay pot is a utensil you can say that bartan in which he kept some porridge along with some milk or some maybe some water and started boiling it on the fire right so what happened after that and gave him supper supper s u d p p e r supper means evening meal evening meal what kind of meal bachcho it mean it evening meal but in a liquid form in a liquid form please pay attention bachcho supper s u d p p e r this is r right here s u d p p e r supper means evening meal it is a it is an evening meal dinner but what kind of dinner in a liquid form so supper can be a soup supper can be porridge supper can be milk clear so which is a liquid diet very light diet okay that is called supper so he boiled porridge okay and he offered him supper to eat what a bite okay so then he carved off such a big slice carved off means cut okay c a r v e d carved off means cut in short okay he cut what did he cut such a big slice slice means piece s l i c e slice means piece okay i'm sorry piece okay so he cut a slice and uh, from his tobacco roll he was having a roll 
R O L L. He was having a roll. Roll means in which uh, he kept some tobacco. Tobacco, it's a smoking product, right? Tobacco is used especially in cigarettes, okay, in some cigars, in some pipes. Clear? So he kept some tobacco from his roll, little bit tobacco, in order to enjoy some smoking. Clear? He took out some tobacco from his roll and that was enough for both the stranger's pipe and his own. Means both of them were having pipes. Have you seen the pipe? Means especially in foreign countries. The Britishers, the Americans, means foreign people, they are, they usually smoke with pipe. Okay. Pipe is having the shape in this way, just like that I can make it. Okay. So, this is just like in this way. Okay. It is just like that. Ki here, you can keep some tobacco. Okay. With a coal. Some coal is, burning coal is there. Right. Over the coal, you can keep some tobacco and throughout the pipe over here, you can smoke by holding it in the pipe. Okay, in your hand, right? So these these were pipes. Both of them they were having and uh, as much tobacco which was sufficient for them and he had taken it from his roll, clear? In order to enjoy smoking, right? So, finally he got out an old pack of cards. Old pack means uh, old kind of playing cards he was having. What do you call it in Hindi translation? Tash, Tash ke patte. He took out some old pack of cards and Played Majolis, M-J-O-L-I-S. Majolis is the name of the game which we are playing in the cards, okay? Which we usually play in playing cards, Majolis. I'm sorry. So he took out playing cards and uh, started playing along with him, Majolis, okay? With his guest until bedtime. Means until bedtime means before they could sleep maybe till late midnight suppose if they kept sitting along with them maybe nine o'clock ten o'clock for playing cards playing majolis for next one hour two hours in continuity they played when they got fed up then they kept the cards at a side and it was the time for their bed it was a time for their sleep it was a time for their rest clear now just before sleeping the old man was just as generous. Generous means kind. G E N E R O U S. Generous means kind. Okay. Generous means kind. He was a kind and meek. Okay. He was very noble person. So, what did he do with his confidences as with his porridge and tobacco? Because he was having the confidence to talk. He was uh, serving a good hospitality. He was giving a good, you can say that uh, he, was, he was a good host in short. He had given a warm welcome to the person who, which, who was completely unknown to him. He offered him tobacco, he offered him supper, he offered him uh, the games of Majolis along with him, clear? So they were enjoying for the whole night. Then the guest was informed, means after that, just before they're sleeping, they started gossiping with each other, clear? The guest was informed, means the crofter, actually I want to tell you what is a crofter, crofter means farmer, right? He was a crofter, C-R-O-F-T-E-R, -E crofter means farmer. The owner of the hut, he was a crofter, he was a farmer, right? So. He told, he informed the peddler, he told the peddler, what did he tell? He said that once in his days of prosperity, prosperity means when he was healthy and wealthy, during his younghood days, when he could do the work with, with all of his confidence, power and uh, you know, position, uh, with his status you can say, right? His host had been a crofter, his host means that his work he had been working, he had been representing himself as a host of, a uh, host at a farmhouse and these were the farms of Rams Joe Iron Mill. I think so, you have not got, let me explain. Means uh, the crofter, he informed the peddler in the past time when he was young and he was having strength and power to work. He used to work in the fields of Ramsjo Iron Mill. Clear? He was working as a farmer in the fields of Ramsjo Iron Mill. 
okay there was a mill and uh, these were the fields of the owner of the mill the iron master was the owner of the fields and he was working as a laborer over there right now that he was no longer able to do labor now this time he was too old to work that his body was paining actually it was it didn't have so much capacity in order to perform himself for physical work in the field some of your fa fathers might be farmer clear maximum of you are belonging to a, a farmer family village family you have seen village life so you are better you are well known about it you are uh, means you are familiar with this system ki mean that when the farmer he leaves his home in the early morning and he has to indulge himself in in the physical work working at fields okay with his oxen sometimes tractor sometimes some other kind of works with tools clear so whenever suppose if you are doing some farming if you are doing some agri you are indulging yourself in agriculture work you must be having fit fitness of your body because it requires lot of power of your physical right your body must be active must be solid so this time he grew old wo buda ho gaya tha he could not work on the fields right so it was his cow now this time he simply had a cow c o w cow which supported him it was helping him out to earn his livelihood okay yes that bossy b o w s y bossy means it's an adjective for cow clear wonderful cow he that wonderful cow was extraordinary extraordinary means something special something special was there in the cow some cows we can see here and there okay so they are ordinaries but some of the cows they are extraordinary they can give you some extra product of milk clear so this was this bossy was extraordinary this cow was extraordinary she could give milk for the creamery every day creamery means that the milk which which was given by this bossy the milk given by the cow it was full of cream the maximum ratio of cream one could find out of the milk given by the cow and last month he had received all of 30 kronors in payment and he reported the peddler he told peddler means last month i had earned 30 kronors kronors i told you bachcho wait for a while kronors k r o n o r kronor you can say it's a currency of sweden right i told you selma lagerlof she was a swedish writer see she was from sweden right so kronor is the currency of sweden like in india we are having rupees we are living in india indian currency name is rupees rupiya right so similarly kronor is the currency of sweden so he said that 30 kronors 30 30 kronors he had earned last month by selling the milk of the cow he was having right so the stranger must have seen incredulous incredulous means i n c r e d u l o u s incredulous means the person who could not be believed right one cannot be believed the person who could not be believed he was credulous the stranger must have seemed incredulous means both were strangers to each other peddler and the crofter so the peddler started thinking this old man is incredulous means that he is telling a lie for the man got up and went to the window when he said that he means i cannot believe it simply the peddler he reported back to the crofter no no i cannot believe that you have earned 30 kronors what is the proof you are having immediately the old man he left his place and went nearby the window there was a window in the hut meant clear he went nearby the window took down a leather pouch pouch means thala in hindi translation leather in hindi chamda chamde ka thala he took a leather pouch from nearby the window pane it was which hung on the nail on a nail 
Nail means kuti. Clear? N A I L. Nail means uh, up. You know, a place to hang something. Okay, in Hindi, if you want to know, then it is called khuti. Okay, so there was a nail, a place to have, hang something like khuti. So he took a leather pouch from the nail in the very window frame, just on the window frame. If you have seen the windows in at your home. it is having the boundary of made of wood and maximum clear so just on the threshold of it there was a nail keel gadi hui thi clear and the leather pouch was hanging over there right he took out the leather pouch silently from there and picked out he unfolded it opened it and took out he took 30 kronos 10 10 three knots three knots he had shown 30 10 kronor bills bills means knots right b i w l, -L s Bills means not ten ten three kronors not he had shown to the peddler means these are the thirty kronors which I had earned last month. It's a payment of last month, and it's quite enough for me because I live alone. I don't have any family. I don't have wife. I don't have children. I live alone, isolated place. So these he held up before the eyes of the guest means he kept just before the eyes of the guest. See. these are the bills see these are the notes see this is the money and he had shown it to the peddler nodding knowingly nodding knowingly and means knowingly means janbujkar in this way nodding means sir hilana swaying the head hmm this is 30 kronors right and then stuffed them back stuff means then he put them back into the leather pouch and hanged it on the same place from where he had taken clear now this this was like a bait b a i t bait means temptation greed this was like a greed it has entered into the mind of the peddler he made a plan silently in order to steal the money the next day both men got up in a good season means in a good manner in a good mood both of them they got up early in the morning the crofter was in a hurry to milk his cow the crofter first of all he went nearby his cow and he did the milking he took the milk outside and then the other man probably thought he should not stay in the bed when the head of the house had gotten up the peddler he still lying he was still lying on the bed but he started thinking if the head of the family the owner of this hut the crofter the old man if he had got up agar wo uth gaya hai then why i am lying over here i must get up immediately then he left the place and he prepared himself after some time both of them they left the cottage means crofter went this way and peddler went that way clear at the same time okay in the same time both of them left the crofter locked the room door means he locked it and put the key in his pocket in his pocket then the man with the red traps the peddler he kept he he took his red traps said goodbye and thank you thank you so much sir that you helped me all out you had given a shelter for a single night i shall be thankful to you for this act of kindness and thereupon each went his own way each of them he and he both of them the peddler and the crofter went to their own ways he went to this way and he went to that way clear but half an hour later after 30 minutes after 30 minutes the red trap peddler means the red trap seller the peddler the vagabond who was having a greed in his mind after having a look of 30 kronors in the last night stood again before the door he came back as per his planning because he made a plan in his mind that i would steal the money immediately after half an hour he came back and he stood before the door okay he didn't try to get in means he did not break the lock he did not break the door he did not got enter he did not get entered inside however even then he only went went up to the window he just went on the back side of the hut where the window was there okay he went near by the window smashed a pane smashed means gave a blow s m a s h e d smash means gave a blow 
with power. Right? With power, he gave a blow. Blow means mukka in this way. He smashed the pain. Pain means window. Okay. Windows mirror, you can say that. He smashed the windows pain with his blow, with his fist. In this way. Right? Stuck in his hand. Stuck means he got his hand entered. Hath and dala. And got hold of the pouch and means then he took the pouch and took his pulled his hand outside and he opened it and took 30 chronos which he was having which he had shown to him the last night he took the money kept in his pocket then he hanged the pouch inside once again and thrust it into his own pocket then he hung then he hung the pouch very carefully back in the place very carefully he hanged the pouch on the nail and silently he pulled his hand outside and slowly he moved away from there. Right? He went away. As he walked along with the money in his pocket, he felt quite pleased with his smartness. When he was moving by having 30 kronors in his pocket, he was smiling. That means my cleverness. I have got 30 kronors. Okay? He realized, of course, that at first he dared not to continue on the public highway. He got an idea in his mind. That means, no, no, I dare not to go on the public highway. Suppose people are coming from this way. People are going from this way. This is a public highway. I should not go on this way. Otherwise, I may be caught. I may be caught by the police. Then, and but must turn off the road. Then he changed his road into the woods. Woods means jungle, forest. He turned into the forest. Okay, he entered into the jungle. During the first hours, this caused him no difficulty. Means during the daytime, for the next one hour, two hour, three hour, four hours, he didn't face any difficulty. He simply moved on, moved on, moved on, going on, going on, going on. Clear? Then, later in the day, it became worse. But when evening was coming, after 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., it was becoming more and more worse. Bad, worse, than worst. Condition was becoming worse because next day, same condition was coming. That he didn't give any, get, get any shelter. Okay. So, the evening time was coming. For it was a big and confusing forest. It was a densely tangled jungle. Ghana jungle. Big jungle. Large jungle. It didn't get any end. He was thinking that he could cross the jungle. But the jungle seemed no ending. Okay. He was confused. Because the jungle was full of confusion. Which he had gotten into. He tried to be sure to walk in a definite direction. In a particular direction he tried himself to move ahead. Right. But the paths twisted back and forth so strangely. But the paths twisted back. Sometimes he was moving this way, zigzag way, where to go, where not to go. He couldn't understand. He got confused. He got puzzled. And forth means very long, so strangely, very strange path. He walked and walked without coming to the end of the wood. Means he didn't find the end of the jungle. And finally, he realized that he had been walking around in the some part of the forest. Then he realized just in merely some portion, particular portion of the forest, I am moving. I cannot cross this jungle at any cost, right? In short, you can say that he had lost his way. He didn't know where to go, where not to go, clear, but still he was moving. At all at once, he recalled his thoughts about the world and the rat trap. Then, suddenly, the same idea, which I told you in the previous video, the same idea, it was striking to his mind that all the world is like a rat trap and lot of greeds are there. Now, I am one of them. I am one of the rats who had been trapped into the net because of 30 kronors of the crofter. This is my condition. I have found myself in the trouble because of the greed of 30 kronors. If I had not stolen the money, my condition would not be critical like that. I have not been caught into the jungle. I have been caught into the jungle because of the money, because of the greed which I was having in my mind after looking the money of the crafter. Clear? 
so now his own turn had come now he said that he means now i was i used to say about the people they are caught into the world because of greed now it's my turn because even i had stolen the money now i had been trapped he had let himself be fooled by a bait bait means temptation greed i had been be fooled by a bait of 30 kronos and had been caught the whole forest the complete jungle with its trunks and branches where there are trees and trees i can find in the bulk trees and branches its thickets okay its density okay and fallen logs logs means lakdi ke tukde so many logs had been fallen here and there oh my god closed in upon him like an impenetrable prison impenetrable prison means the prison that didn't have any way to escape okay ek aisa jungle ek aisa aisi qaid jahan se bhag na sake means that is impossible to run away from there clear so this is like a prison for me means i if i try my level best to run away from there again it is pulling back to me towards it okay this is like an impenetrable prison for me which he could never escape means i can never escape from such a prison right so students for today itself i think so it's sufficient it's enough and uh, please note it down all these words which i have written and which i had erased uh, after writing it so just watch the video carefully and please 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 send your queries on the whatsapp group and do study at your home and uh, i hope that you have listened carefully by putting your 100% concentration i will be obliged i will be happy whenever if you are sending your queries for me so that i can get a message that you are really studying at your home so till the next video have a nice day we'll meet later on soon namaskar thank you